Welcome to GE Healthcare series on lung protective strategies in the ICU. I'm Lisa Nolan. The CareScape R860 offers a wide array of advanced ventilation tools to help with the clinical decision-making process around lung protection. Throughout this series, we will discuss these tools in more detail. Today, we will discuss FRC and PEEP InView. Let's get started. FRC and PEEP InView are two different procedures on the CareScape R860, which allow clinicians to get a clearer view of lung mechanics. Functional residual capacity, or FRC, is the volume held in the lungs at the end of expiration on a spontaneously breathing patient. When a patient is intubated, measuring FRC is difficult without the disruption of mechanical ventilation and the use of additional non-medical gas sources. The term end expiratory lung volume, or EELV, is used to describe FRC when a patient is intubated, and positive end expiratory pressure, or PEEP, is added. The measurement of EELV can also determine the impact of the PEEP setting being used. On the CareScape R860, a FRC measurement can be performed with the use of a respiratory gas module by selecting the FRC Clinical Decision Support Tool. Prior to measurement, the patient should be in a steady state with a constant level of delivered oxygen. The FRC measurement can be completed in a single measurement or a recurrent measurement from one to 12 hours in increments of an hour. Once the measurement is complete, it provides the volume for FRC and static compliance. If FRC and compliance decrease, alveolar derecruitment may be indicated. If FRC increases and compliance decreases, it may be an indication to decrease PEEP, as this is a sign of possible alveolar overdistension. In addition to the single or recurrent measurements of FRC, the CareScape R860 provides a PEEP in-view procedure that provides the clinician a clinical decision support tool to optimize the patient's PEEP level. An automated PEEP procedure can be completed by providing a starting PEEP setting and an ending PEEP setting throughout a series of steps. Once completed, the results of each PEEP setting can be analyzed to provide an optimal PEEP setting. An optimal PEEP setting is indicated by an increase in EELV and compliance. Finding your optimal level of FRC and PEEP is as easy as that on the CareScape R860. Please join us next time when we talk about spirodynamics. I'm Lisa Nolan for GE Healthcare Series on Lung Protective Strategies in the ICU.